Now to a new technology for self-driving cars. The computers and robotic vehicles can get confused by construction zones, bad weather, and other unexpected hazards. But a company called Phantom Auto has come up with a remote-controlled backup system that provides the computers human help. Here's Chris Van Cleef. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. My name is Ben, and I will be your Phantom Remote Operator for this drive. I'll be monitoring your vehicle remotely. Ben Shookman, our remote driver, is a few miles away in a Silicon Valley office. For that, we'll be doing the drive. California is one of at least five states allowing self-driving cars to be on the road without a safety driver if they have a system in place for a human to take over remotely. Phantom Auto doesn't build self-driving cars, but they're hoping their technology can come to the rescue of a confused autonomous vehicle. It uses cell phone signals and cameras already mounted to the vehicle, so a remote driver can take over in a situation where the car doesn't know what to do. You're saying the ultimate backup for the self-driving car is the human? Yeah. Say you come to a construction site and you have a construction worker giving hand signals. Somebody vehicle. flagging traffic. And exactly, coming exactly. And going. So the vehicle may approach that construction site and just completely be paralyzed. At that point, the vehicle itself would ping a Phantom Auto remote operator. The remote operator would be able to drive you through the construction site in the same way you could drive through a construction site today. What a lot of people seeing this are going to wonder is what is it like driving a car that you're nowhere near? They go through a very strict training procedure in order to learn how to operate something completely new. Federal regulations are stalled in Congress, leaving oversight largely to the states. Some are stricter than others. The self-driving Uber crash that killed a pedestrian in Arizona has prompted states to take a second look at their regulations, as the technology is not yet foolproof. You can think of the Phantom Auto service similar to something like OnStar, a remote help desk that would automatically link with the vehicle or the touch of a button for the passenger. You'd have a remote driver who could be the backup for multiple vehicles, leaving the backup plan for self-driving cars firmly in the hands of a human. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Washington.